Hark the herald angels sing glory to the newborn King. Peace on earth and mercy mild, God and sinners reconciled. Joyful all ye nations rise, join the triumph of the skies. With angelic hosts proclaim, Christ is born in Bethlehem. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn King. Merry Christmas and good morning. This is welcome to the daily office. This is morning prayer for Christmas Day, Tuesday. The scripture for this service, Psalm 2 and 85, and Zechariah chapter 2, verse 10 to 13, and the canticle of Zechariah. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia! Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? Alleluia! Psalms 2 and 85. Alleluia! Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The rulers of the earth take counsel together against you and your anointed. They say, let us break their bands and cast away their cords. You who sit in the heavens shall laugh. You shall laugh them to scorn. Then you speak to them in your wrath and vex them with your sore displeasure. I have set my ruler upon my holy hill of, of Zion. I will declare the decree God Most High has said to me. You are my son, and this day I have begotten you. Ask, and I shall give you the heathen for your inheritance and the whole earth for your possession. You shall break them with a rod of iron and dash them into pieces like a potter's jar. Therefore, be wise, O rulers, be instructed, O judges of the earth. Serve God most high with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the sun, lest he be angry, and you perish from the way when his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are they that put their trust in him. You have been favorable to your land, and you have restored the fortunes of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel. You have forgiven the iniquity of your people, and you have covered all their sins. You have taken away your wrath. You have turned yourself from the fierceness of your anger. Restore us, O God of our salvation, and cease your anger toward us. Will you be angry forever? Will you prolong your anger to all generations? Will you not revive us again, that we may rejoice in you? Show us your mercy and grant us your salvation. I will hear what you have to say, for you will speak peace to your people and to your saints. But let them not turn again to folly. Surely your salvation is close to us that fear you, that glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth have met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth shall spring from the earth, and righteousness look down from heaven. You give all that which is good, and our land shall yield her fruit. Righteousness shall go before you, and shall set us in the way of your steps. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? Alleluia. The lesson is from the prophet Zechariah, chapter 2, beginning at verse 10. Sing and rejoice, O daughter Zion. For lo, I will come and dwell in your midst, says Yahweh. Many nations shall join themselves to Yahweh on that day, and shall be my people, and I will dwell in your midst, and you shall know that Yahweh God of hosts has sent me to you. 
Yahweh will inherit Judah as his portion in the Holy Land and will again choose Jerusalem. Be silent, all people, before Yahweh, for he has roused himself from his holy dwelling. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions for the Holy Church of God, that it may be filled with truth and love and be found without fault at the day of your coming. For Tom and Alan, Ray and Richard and Don, and all of our church leaders, and for all the holy people of God. For all who fear God and believe in you, Lord Christ, that our divisions may cease, and that all may be one as you and the Father are one for peace in Jerusalem, and in all the world, that a spirit of respect and forbearance may grow among nations and peoples. For those in positions of public trust, especially Barack and Joe and John, that they may serve justice and promote the dignity and the freedom of every person. For a blessing upon all human labor and for the right uses of the riches of creation, that the world may be freed of poverty, famine, and disaster. For the unemployed, especially for Nancy and Carol, Bill, Robert, and Carrie. For the poor, the persecuted, the sick, and for all who suffer, we remember especially the families and friends of the victims of Sandy Hook. For refugees and prisoners, and for all who are in danger, that they may be relieved and protected. For this congregation, for those who are present and for those who are absent, that we may be delivered from hardness of heart and show forth your glory in all we do. For our enemies and for those who wish us harm and for all whom we have injured or offended. We commend for all who have commended themselves to our prayers, our families, friends, and neighbors, that being free from anxiety, they may live in joy, peace, and health. For the mercy of God community and for the Sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia. We pray for Margaret and William and John William David and all the victims of Sandy Hook, all who died in the communion of your church and those whose faith is known to you alone, that with all the saints they may have rest in that place where there is no pain or grief, but life eternal. Rejoicing in the fellowship of the ever-blessed Virgin Mary and St. Francis and St. Clair and all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and all of our lives to Christ our God. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Blessed are you, O God of Israel, you come to your people and set us free. Alleluia. Blessed are you, O God of Israel, for you've come to your people and set us free. You've raised for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of your servant David. And through your prophets you promised of old you would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. You promised to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember your holy covenant. This was the oath you swore to Abraham and Sarah, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous in your sight, all the days of our lives. And you, my child, shall be called prophet of the Most High, for you will go before our God to prepare the way, to give the people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. 
Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Blessed are you, O God of Israel. You've come to your people and set us free. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Merry Christmas.